It's a great day to be a Yankee. It's a great day to be Aaron Judge. Baseball, oh, baseball, I can't get enough. Good evening, everybody. Welcome to Barrel of Podcast. Today, we're going to talk about Judge, the Judge man himself. Finalizes a deal with the New York Yankees, nine years, $360 million. Oh, my God. Which would, in essence, put him to play his whole career with the New York Yankees. Aaron Judge played his cards right, didn't sign last year with for the 200 something million dollars that the Yankees offered. He took a bet on himself, had a tremendous year, MVP, 62 home runs, and came back and got what he, I guess, deserved. When I say I guess, I'm not mad at the guy. I'm actually happy for him. But I didn't think he was going to get that much, to be honest. If you look at the comments, I said somewhere around eight years, 285, 290, 300. Max around there. That's what I was thinking. Right. But this is a game that pays. This is a game that you have to be patient and play your cards right. This is a business at the end of the day. And it played out in both uh, parties favor. When I say both parties, I say Aaron Judge and the Yankees. Um, like I said before, Aaron Judge played, you know, his cards right. He took a bet on himself. He didn't take the two hundred million dollar deal that the Yankees offered. He went out to the market. He actually traveled to San Francisco, met with the San Francisco Giants, and the San Francisco Giants had a tentative, tentative offer. But it's a business on both sides of the fence because when the San Francisco Giants had offered uh, Aaron Judge 360, the Yankees said, okay, hold up, let's get our guy. They did 360 for nine years, making him a four, $40 million player per year. What do you guys think? Is this the right moves for the Yankees? Aaron Judge, does he, does he deserve that much money? What does that mean for other players like Correa? What does that mean for other players like Juan Soto, who are soon to be in contract talks as we as we move along? Um, I am very happy for the Yankees. I'm not a Yankee fan. You guys all know that. I'm unbiased, though, when I'm on the show. So much love, much props to the Judge man himself. Uh, I feel bad for the San Francisco Giants as they had kept their hopes up to get the mega star. Now, what comes into play? What comes into play? How many years of that nine-year contract are going to be productive for Aaron Judge? Can he repeat a year like this year? Right? We're all talking. You know, we're talking about the Yankee fans, and one of my good friends, my best friend, Adonis, has said, "You know, I told you he was coming to the Yankees, and now me as a Yankee fan, these are his words." The pressure is on. Can he produce again? Aaron Judge has produced with the Yankees uh, ever since he got to the Bronx. Injuries have played a part of his career. That's a big question. The injuries, are they going with, to withhold? Are they, are they going to stop? Right? He has produced a major part of his career, and he's been a Yankee, so he does know how to do it in the Bronx. So we'll see. Are the Yankees done? Are the Yankees done there? For the offseason, uh, their, their payroll is mega, mega high with Giancarlo Stanton and Aaron Judge and others. Are they done? There's a cute, cute there's a couple players on the market right now. Still have Carlos Correa. Still have a couple other pitchers in the market. What's going to happen to the Yankees and their offseason apparatus? The Mets have signed Jose Quintana, the left-hander. So they are solidifying, solidifying their pitching staff, their, their rotation. We'll see. And we also saw that Contreras just signed a five-year deal, signed a five-year deal with the St. Louis Cardinals. Baseball, oh, baseball, I can't get enough. A lot of news, a lot of nice uh, early Christmas gifts, right? We had to wait a long time to, for these moves to happen last year in the offseason, but we're seeing a lot of teams being aggressive and taking their guys. Aaron Judge to the Yankees, nine years, $360 million. What do you guys think? Leave it down on the, low, on the, on the comment box below. Uh, I'll see you next time, and you already know. John Carlos from Barrel Podcast.